All right, guys, so you've gotten that new golf club, beautiful new driver here. Those of you that love the golf, I do. This is my brother-in-law's club, but guess what? It needs a new grip on it. You don't want to have to pay somebody to do it? Guess what? I'm going to show you how to do it yourself, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so if you would, give me leave some comments below in the section. If you got questions about how it turned out or maybe what I did, how I did it, leave some comments below. We'd appreciate it on any of these videos. Leave some comments. You know, Subscribe to the channel if you would. Share the videos, hit that notification bell. Anytime I put new stuff out, you'll see it. And you can try it for yourself or just learn something new. I got a brand new grip here. A little bit mid-sized grip that we're going to put on here. I'm going to show you guys how to take this off. How to pop this new one on. Guess what? You can do it yourself a whole lot quicker and a whole lot cheaper than have to take it out to a golf shop. So, let's get into it. Alright guys, so first thing what I want to use, I'm going to use just a razor knife here. Just be careful. Look, we're going to go and cut. And I'm just going to cut this off. So look, you don't want to start up here. This is a graphite shaft. Just be careful with it. You don't want to cut too deep. Put that down so we don't scuff it. All right, so what we want to do is come here and we're just going to come back a little bit. And I'm just going to be very careful because you're cutting to yourself. I know you're not supposed to do that, but you know, we won't tell. I won't tell if you won't tell. So we're just going to go nice and light at first. Just get it started because once you get it started, you can peel it off there. You just don't want to cut that shaft. And you know what, there's probably a special tool for this, but this isn't something I do every day. So this here, we're going to make it work. Let me fill my knife up. Got that started, now we're just gonna grab this here, peel it off. May have to cut some more, yep. Once again, be very careful, because you're not supposed to do this. I tell my wife all the time, safety is my middle name. For some reason, she don't believe me. I don't know why. All right, come on. I think I need a new blade too, to be honest. Let's flip this around. That's probably what I should have done from the get-go. Would have been a smart thing to do. There we go. There we go. That's off. This is just your, your tape that we're going to be putting some new stuff on. I'm going to put a... see if I can scrape off what I can here. I may have to put some mineral spirits on here to kind of get it loosened up. And then we'll rake all of it off of it. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Alright, so the rip's off. Let me get some mineral spirits here. You know, spirits just got an old rag here. We're just gonna put some on it. Take. See if we can't get all that old glue, that tape off of there. You may not have to do this, but. I want to, so I'm going to take all this glue off. Like I said, you just don't want to get into that shaft. You don't want to compromise the strength and integrity of your shaft here, because that will not be good. I'm just lightly scraping that, okay? Just to get the, just to get the worst of the tape off, then we'll come back with the mineral spirits again, and we'll just wipe the uh, residue off then. All right, now that we have the grip off, everything's good and clean. We're going to take these double-sided strips here. They're already pre-made. They're double-sided. We're going to peel off the one side. We'll stick it to the club. Then the other side will be sticky. We're going to put some mineral spirits on that. We'll put the club down there, and then that's what holds your club on. Keeps it uh, intact once that dries. All right, now next step is to get our mineral spirits. We're gonna pour on here. I'm gonna get this nice and wet. I'll make it nice and slick. That way we can take our, our new grip, put it on. Now, next thing, make sure you which way you want. I'm gonna put this here with the emblem up. I mean, however you wanna do it, it's totally up to you. And another thing, kind of pre-check so you know once you're starting to slide this down about how far it's gonna go. So this is gonna go to about here. So, you know, if I get it to here and I'm like, well, is it all the way on and obviously you'll kind of be able to feel back here 
you'll have a lot of wiggle room, but you're gonna know if you kind of pre-fit this right here, I'm gonna go just past the green mark there is where it's gonna end. So that gives me an idea how far I need to push it. I'm just gonna hold this. What you can do, one thing, I'm not gonna worry about here, what you can do to kind of reuse it. I sometimes put a bowl underneath here. You can catch the extra that you have to put more on if you need to. But in this, just doing one club, it'll be okay. I'm just gonna take it. If I can hit it. Okay. Next thing you wanna do, hold your finger over this hole here. Pour you a little bit down in here and lubricate this new grip. Do that. Put your finger there and then. Kind of roll it around in there, okay? Take, put your finger off. Alright. Alright, so we're going to get this started and then I'm going to show you guys the, the easiest way I have found to do this. So we're going to get it right up on here, okay? Let's see if we can barely get it started. There we go. Now you can't get crazy here with the air, but watch, we're just gonna put a little bit of air, get you a blower tip, and you wanna put it right there in that hole. You wanna put it right there in the end of the hole there, the, the grip. All right guys, there we have it. We got a brand new grip on our driver. Check it out. A little bit of a jumbo grip. That's what they wanted on there. Everything's lined up nice and neat. Now we can take it out there for a test drive and see if it'll actually go straight. So guys, this isn't hard, too terribly difficult. The, the air hose does help. If you have an extra pair of hands, it does help as well. I've done some when they go straight on. This one didn't go straight on like the other ones I'd done, but we did manage to get it on there. So. The arrow just helps a little bit putting it in the end of your grip there. There's a little hole you can in there. Just don't don't sit and hold a bunch of air because I don't want to blow it off. Actually, you just barely tap it and then kind of push down with it and it, it will gradually slide it right down the shaft of your golf club. So guys, if you need your golf clubs regripped, you know what? You can do it yourself. If you would, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and remember as always, why hire a guy when you can DIY. Thanks for watching.